Hey everyone, uh, welcome to Nintendo Prime. Uh, sorry if the audio is a little weird. Um, I actually have some new audio equipment on order uh, because my current setup is not working the way that I would like it to. Uh, however, hopefully you're seeing a nice increase in video quality here. Uh, this is our first 4K60 video, I think, ever on the channel. So uh, hopefully you enjoy that. Now, before we get into the news where we're talking about a next-gen game coming to Switch and we're talking about Monster Hunter, a new Monster Hunter game, for Switch, whew, I gotta remind you of our giveaway. We're giving away a copy of Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles Remastered Edition. To enter, all you need to do is comment on this video, like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell icon. We also have our second giveaway. The September giveaway has started. Click on the link at the very top of the description down below or in the pinned comment. Uh, we're giving away a Switch Lite for the month of September, uh, so go ahead and enter that as well. Uh, the Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles Remastered Edition will be given away at the very end of this month of August, and then we'll conclude the Switch Lite giveaway at the end of September. Also, also, we if we hit 50,000 subscribers before, before... November 1st of 2020, we will give away a PlayStation 5, an Xbox Series X, or a Nintendo Switch. Now, let's talk about this crazy, crazy, crazy stuff happening in the video game industry. First up, we have our first next-gen third-party multi-platform game coming to Switch. Now, to be fair, it's also coming to PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. So, obviously, uh, you know, it's kind of a multi-generational game. But we're talking about the Lord of the Rings Gollum. So, as you're seeing here in the footage, uh, they're not really showing a whole lot in the footage. Uh, it's, the game's not going to be very combat-based or anything, uh, but uh, they kind of detailed it uh, after they put this video out there. And they said, if you want a reference, you might think of it as similar to Prince of Persia. It is mostly a non-combat game, but Gollum will be able to stealthily take out enemies. However, this will not be easy and will always come with big risks. We want players to carefully weigh these encounters. After all, Gollum's strengths lie in cunning, not combat. Uh, they went on to say the decisions you make affect the way the game feels. You always play either as Smeagol or Gollum as the dominant persona, and that can influence animations, soundscapes, certain gameplay situations, and in-game dialogue. Go on to say that we start our story parallel to the first book when Frodo is still in the Shire and knows nothing about anything. Gollum at that time ventures to Mordor, still desperately looking for Bilbo Baggins and the Ring. Unfortunately, he gets caught by Sauron's servants, and this is basically where the story begins. So really, really cool that we're getting that. Uh, but we're going to quickly, quickly, quickly just talk about it briefly before we move on to the Monster Hunter news. Because I really want to talk about the Monster Hunter stuff. Um, it's very interesting to see that we are getting a next-gen game coming to Switch. Now this might like make you think that Switch Pro must be real, right? It must be legit. Legit as hell. Because this is a next-gen game. But uh, I have no idea. It's announced for Nintendo Switch. So they're not saying Switch Pro. They're not saying the next generation of Switch like that one Kickstarter said. They're saying literally Nintendo Switch as it is right now. So, hey, cool. Comes at the end of 2021. Now, we have some news about a new Monster Hunter game coming to Switch. Capcom is finally coming through. Let's get into that news coming from a user on Twitter. So uh, this guy is known as Dusk Gollum, a.k.a. Aesthetic Gamer. Uh, and he says uh, a lot of stuff about the Resident Evil engine and the Resident Evil series, but this is where we get into the Monster Hunter Switch game. So he says in other news, Resident Evil 8 will most likely be great. Resident Evil 4 is a bit of a worrying position right now. Silent Hill is still in development. Something Shemu related will be revealed in one to two weeks. A PlayStation 5 event first half of September. Uh, Monster Hunter Switch is being revealed soon. Have a good day. And to elaborate on two things, Monster Hunter Switch is running on a Switch-compatible version of the Resident Evil engine, which is why I've been posting whenever I've been talking about it for the last few months. It's supposed to be the Resident Evil engine logo. Now he goes on uh, in later tweets to talk about how uh, they did try to get Resident Evil 7 running locally on Switch a while ago. It didn't work, but the Resident Evil engine itself that made that game does run on Switch. They just couldn't get uh, RE7 to run in a way that they were you know, satisfied with. And we all know RE7 came out digitally, or I should say as a streaming service in Japan, but we never saw it outside of Japan. Anyways, point is, they're making a new Monster Hunter game for Switch. Now, I talked about this uh, not too long ago, actually, on a live stream, where I mentioned, you know what? Capcom's got to have a Monster Hunter in the works for Switch, right? Clearly, they have a Monster Hunter game in the work for Switch. So, this is really, 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 really exciting stuff. 
And man, I just... Imagining what they could do with this using a brand new engine, not using the old engine they were using on 3DS and Wii U and Wii, but actually using a more modern, current day engine. Uh, this is just, it, it really excites me to see what they could do with it on Switch. Now, it's obviously not going to look as good as Monster Hunter World, but I mean, that game was made for a platform way more powerful than Switch. Uh, but it's still going to be something that's going to be cool to see them probably make a more traditional Monster Hunter game. I don't think they're going to go the more action-adventure um, the, the, the kind of more Western styled Monster Hunter we saw on PlayStation, Xbox, PC, all that. I think they're going to stick more with, um, the way that Monster Hunter has been on Nintendo based systems this whole time, uh, to try to satiate the original fans of Monster Hunter versus satiating the new fans. But who knows? I, all bets are off the table. Um, I said a long time ago when Monster Hunter World wasn't coming to Switch that they clearly had to have something unique in the work because Monster Hunter was exclusive to Nintendo platforms through a, a marketing deal or through a, a licensing deal or whatever it was between Nintendo and Capcom for a number of years. They have to bring the IP to you know, a 60 plus million console at some point. And that some point appears to be soon, maybe even next year as it's supposed to be revealed soon. Now, When's it going to be revealed? Is it another partner showcase? Is there a big Nintendo Direct in September? I know, I know, it hurts talking about Nintendo Direct sometimes, uh, especially since all the leakers were, I guess, wrong or something. I, I just know that there has to be game announcements coming for Switch soon, and it appears that Monster Hunter from Capcom is joining the announcement party very, very soon. Also, technically, at Gamescom, they just teased... A potential Astral Chain 2. They didn't really say it's happening yet, but they kind of inferred, Capcom did, that, uh, hey, Astral Chain 2, I'm uh, not Capcom, sorry, uh, Platinum kind of um, threw out there that Astral Chain 2 is something that's percolating. And the first game actually sold really, really well on Switch for a Platinum game. So a, a second one in the works being for that is, is pretty expected at this point. So three um, bigger games coming to Switch. And again, a next gen multi platform game. Coming to Switch. That, to me, is big news. Anyways, folks, I want to thank you guys for tuning in. Remind you to enter our couple giveaways you got going on right now. Try to help us get to 50,000 subscribers. And, oh, boy, I'll catch each and every one of you guys in the next video.